first level, I'm gonna do Night Fight. I like this level. Um, even though earlier today I did Fumbling in the Dark in Crash Bandicoot 1, and at first it did not go well, but then I had a very stunning performance, if you will, in that level just minutes after, so... Um, but this level is much easier than that. You should really have no complaints. I don't even know why this level is in the fifth warp room. To be honest. I, I really don't know, but... There's the death route. These things are probably the main hazardous things in the level. I almost got hit by the nitro. I might not try. I, I'm not gonna try that. Basically, just go around those things. When they start moving, you'll have to deke them out, like here. But you can still just walk by them, and it's still easy. We're flying past this level already, and we're not even 90 minutes, or we're not, we're actually now 90 seconds in, as I forgot the, um, dragonfly, whatever that is. Lightning bug. Probably the hardest part of this level is the bonus round. Just because there's some crawling, some stuff you have to do. I hate when it does that. I get kind of nervous when it does that. I'm picking up a lot of lump of fruit in this part. <laughs> Dang it, I forgot to slide. That can happen sometimes. That's probably the main enemy you want to watch out for in this level. Is that... Alien thing with the... Wizard, or... It's a wizard, probably. You're a lizard, Larry. Yes. Alright, we have plenty of time to do digging it. Only three minutes in. We will definitely be able to get this level finished. If I do this level in under five minutes, I might even try at a third level in this part. Which, if I can do three levels in one part and one of the and one of the levels is digging it, then that's you're going good, my friend. Our first checkpoint comes in at four minutes in the video. And we're invincible, which is which is a virtue in this level. If only we had like a speed shoes of some sort. Get that checkpoint first. We'll break through to the bonus round and it's pretty interesting because in the Witch Crash Bandicoot level is harder, you guys voted for sewer later. It's pretty interesting because I've been cruising through this so far. Maybe you guys are right.
and I'm wrong. Like usual. Because you guys are so smart. I've had no difficulty with this level so far. But here come the bees. Oh my gosh. How annoying are they? Very annoying. Gotta time this part. Another checkpoint. I haven't played this level in a while, so I think I assumed that it was a hard level. I've had so Whoa, that was a weird sound. I've had some difficulty with this level in the past. I think everyone has. This run through of this level. The run through I'm going at right now of this level. Dang it. Wow. I absolutely blew through that level. Maybe you guys are right. Maybe Sewer Later is tougher than doing it. I'm trying to remember how I got into Totally Bear. Oh yeah, I, I remember. It might take a while though, so... I'm gonna do totally bare, but we have to go through unbearable to get there, so I'm gonna do actually unbearable and totally bare in this part, because I specifically remember where the entrance to that level is. This level is not very difficult. done this level many times before. I just have to kind of keep track of time because we're already at eight minutes. Dang it, I was going very well until that happened. There's a secret path down there, I believe. But I'm not gonna try that. Do the nitro switch before you go into the bonus round. It will save you a headache, trust me. I believe. to go all the way back to get that check or that um, exclamation point box and this is where you don't have to worry about those nitros um, there would be a stack of nitros on those steel crates it's not a very big influence of some sort but I mean it kind of helps I almost fell off there
And here is the polar part. I believe there are two parts to this level. There's... This part, and then there's a part where another bear comes in, I believe. No, actually. There's only one part to it. Dang it! You have to be at the very edge of the platform to do that. This part might go over 15 minutes, which is my limit. My theory is that after 15 minutes, the watcher gets kind of bored by the video. That's why I don't do very long videos. Because I want my... I want my, um viewers to stay interested throughout the part. That's why I don't have very long videos and the basically 13-14 minute videos are basically the longest parts you're ever gonna see from me. This video might go over that limit. We'll just have to see how well I do in Totally Bear. This is the 26th level, and it is a secret level only obtained by the way I just showed you, so. And we start out, and that is a cool glitch. I like that. But anyways, we have to get serious. We don't have much time. This is not a cakewalk. Even if you're just going through this level just for grins. Like I just died there. This level is not automatic. And I just died from the same thing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's the third time. It's the third time I've died in less than like 30 seconds. Here we go. Oh my gosh, and a checkpoint was right there. I told you. How do I keep messing up? Oh my gosh, I missed the checkpoint! Don't die. and I died! I told you this level's not a cakewalk. At least not for me. And I am very, very struggling at this level right now. This is insane. I have never had this much of a difficult time on this level. I 
just need to kind of calm down right now. This is not good. I don't know why you keep messing up. Oh my gosh, I missed a checkpoint again! And I died again! Oh my gosh! This is sad right now. This is not good. There we go. I was doing that jump. This level's this level doesn't like me right now. This is going to take a long time to upload. That was horrible. Wow. Seventeen minutes on this video.